One of the most powerful features in My Service Jobs Plus is that your customers and future customers can request appointments online. Not only does it do this, it also helps you automate the communication process with each customer regarding appointment requests. Using these together helps provide your customers with a positive scheduling experience which can help establish great relationships with new customers and help maintain those relationships with your existing customers. This video has two main parts. First, we'll look at what your customers might see and receive when they're requesting an appointment online. After that, we'll review the communication settings in the My Service Jobs Plus dashboard so you can tailor the automated messaging to meet your needs. We believe in My Service Jobs Plus so much that we use it ourselves. So to demonstrate what a customer might see, I'll do so from the MyServiceForce.com website. Before I go any further, I'll say one thing. If you don't have a website, don't worry about it. Keep watching and I'll tell you at the end of the video how we can provide you a free website. Let's get started. First, let's look at what your customers will see. Somewhere on your website, you'll have a button or a link where the user will click to request an appointment. It should be pretty obvious. In this case, I'll click the Schedule Now button. This brings the user to your customer scheduling calendar where they can choose from an available date and then fill out their appointment request form. Remember, you can configure these lists in your settings so the customer will choose an appointment time and a service type and then put in their other information. Once they do that, they'll click the Submit button. When the Submit button is clicked, the customer will receive an acknowledgement email and or text message explaining you've received their request. Which type of message that is sent, email or text message, depends on your settings we'll look at shortly. At this point, you will also receive an email with the details of this new appointment request. Back at the My Service Jobs Plus dashboard, you or someone with a valid user login can view the request and get it scheduled. Let's say the date and time requested by the customer isn't going to work. With a click or a tap on Request for Reschedule, you can quickly send an email like this explaining you can't meet their request and asking them to reschedule. There will be a link right in the email where they can click to request another time. When you do put the appointment on the schedule, the customer will receive a confirmation email and or text message confirming the appointment as requested. Again, which type of message sent depends on your settings. That's an example of the appointment request process. Now, we'll briefly look at the customer communication settings on the My Service Jobs Plus dashboard. From the dashboard, go to Settings, then click or tap on Customer Communications. If you're already in a settings screen, customer communications will be a link along the top. Here, you'll see a text message section and an email section. Quite simply, check the items you want to send. You can send only text messages, only emails, or a combination of both. We typically suggest sending all communications via both text message and email. So, I have all the boxes checked here. Also, remember you can edit the contents of any of the messages. Just a couple notes on message contents. First, make sure to keep the date and time in brackets as they are. Leaving the brackets around these results in the applicable date and time appearing in the messages. Without the brackets, the customer would just see the words date and time, which wouldn't make much sense. Also remember, the bottom of the email section allows you to set what email address the communications come from. This is pretty important. If the customer replies to any of your emails, you want to be sure you receive it. We've all received those do not reply messages that bounce back to us if we do reply. You don't want that to happen to your customers. And of course, there are the CC and BCC fields for sending any copies as you'd like. Remember, you can have multiple CC and BCC addresses as long as the addresses are separated by commas or semicolons. Okay, so in the past few minutes, we've looked at the process of how customers request appointments through My Service Jobs Plus, the communications they receive, and how you can customize these communications. Before we finish, if you don't have a website and want one to begin receiving appointment requests online, ask us about our free microsites. We can set you up with a simple yet attractive one-page website and a customized address so you can establish your presence on the internet and use it to grow your business. And if you need any help linking your existing website to My Service Jobs Plus, we'll gladly assist you with that as well. 
Contact us using our live chat at www.myserviceforce.com or email us at support at myserviceforce.com. Also, make sure to check out our My Service Jobs Plus support resources on our website and our videos on our YouTube channel. Speaking of which, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's a really useful resource for self-service help and training and a great way to keep up to date with what's going on with My Service Force and be notified when new videos are posted.